Hello, my name is Grace Christopher. I am an African fashion designer based in Dallas, Texas. Um, I make custom clothing, dresses, tops, pants, make head wraps, make matching outfits, infinity scarves, and all kinds of things. And then we'll sell African fabrics too, as many who want to make things on their own. So today I'm going to show you how to make infinity scarves two different ways. It's a very easy project. Whether you're a beginner or you're already an expert, there's something you can get from this. So this is my personal style of how to make an African print infinity scarf. So let's go. On both style one and style two, all you need is about two yards of cotton. So just to show you the difference, I will do style one in this fabric and style two in this fabric. All you need is about two yards of fabric. African prints usually have a width of 45 inches. So with two yards of fabric, you have a width of 45 inches and 72 on the other side. So what you want to do is fold on the side of the 45 inches and extend it and stretch it out. Personally, did not do that. I did it all the way out. It's so much easier, and I do not like to have stitch. So, take it all out with iron on the seam. That's what I like to do so my, my edges are nice and flat. And then iron it properly on the other side. After you have done that, you close it up, you go on one of the edges, fold it in about an inch and a half in. All the way on the edge of You want to have enough space to for the room, so an inch and a half or two is a safe place. And then take the other edge. You don't need to fold the other part. All you need to do is just feed it in the one you already ironed nicely. Feed it in and use your pins to secure it in place. Iron again. The iron is your friend. After you do that, you do that. Just go on and iron on that line, not too close to the edge and not too far off, so that you pick everything in and have a nice finish. And make sure everything is closed in on both sides. And there you have it. You have your first. For this second method of making the infinity scarf, you also need two yards of fabric, but this time instead of having a continuous piece, you want to cut it into two separate one yard pieces and join on a 36 part. Get it to the same machine, so all the way down, and you, then you come back and fold on the 36 part, so you have a much longer tube this time. Make sure you join your, your, your seam, to make sure they are aligned and they look professional in that way. And then iron, make sure it's in place. And take your sewing machine and sew. So you're gonna have it looking like that. I also explained to you in the first video the two different ways you can do this. But I like to go the easy way where I do not have to blind stitch and um, use my hands. So I iron, take it all the way out and iron. So, 
this is the first one they made it is much shorter so you cannot go three times you only have a double hook cut so you can adjust it when it suits you side and twist and twist and twist now it depends on the kind of hair you have i have an updo going so i have to work with what i have but even if you do not have an updo all you need to do is just make it into an onion turn and turn and find a place to tuck it in nice and tight and that's it you have yourself a headlock thank you for watching